Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to go over some free, easy things you can do to increase privacy and security in your digital life. The first thing is to switch to a privacy-oriented web browser. Do not use Google Chrome. Do not use Microsoft Edge. Do not use the Opera browser. Use something focused on privacy and security. If you enjoy using Google Chrome, try the Brave web browser. It is Chromium-based and you will feel right at home. If you're someone who wants something simple or minimalistic, try the DuckDuckGo browser. Safari and Firefox are okay privacy options, but if you want to get a better privacy-focused Firefox-based web browser out of the box, try LibreWolf or Molvad. Or if you want something that is Firefox-based that is more user-friendly, that can also be privacy-oriented with some setting tweaks, try the Waterfox web browser. Next, you will want to switch to a privacy-oriented search engine such as DuckDuckGo. You can use StartPage, which uses Google Results results, and you can also give the Brave search a try as well. Next, get off as much social media as possible. Delete all your social media if possible. And yes, I know we're on YouTube, which is a social media platform. Thank you for being here. I would say review all the social media you're using. If you are not getting a clear benefit from it, you should delete and stop using it. The worst ones are TikTok, anything from Meta, which includes Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp. I would avoid all of those, but even other social media, try to use as little as possible, post as little as possible, review your privacy and security settings for all of them, stay signed out when possible, and this can include other services such as Snapchat, LinkedIn, Reddit, I've already mentioned YouTube, X formerly known as Twitter, Pinterest, Discord, dating apps, the list goes on and on. Make sure you do not accept connections or friend requests from people you don't know and post as little information about yourself as possible. I would also strongly recommend that rather than installing an app for one of those platforms on, for example, your phone, try to use these services in a privacy browser because that will add an extra layer of privacy and security. Next, make sure that you're enabling 2FA or two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication on all of your accounts. Try to avoid using SMS when possible. It's the better than nothing option. And while email's a better option, some of the best options you can use is an authenticator app. I know a lot of people will immediately go to Google Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator or something that's common, but try to find something that's open source and focused around privacy. There are a lot of options out there that you can look at. There are physical security keys that you can buy, but this video is focused on free things, so also consider pass keys, which is free to set up. Next, install fewer applications on all of your devices. Even legitimate applications from legitimate companies can spy on you. Legitimate applications can be hijacked or exploited, and so you gain a lot of privacy and security by installing less applications and try to use services that you must have in a privacy web browser to get that extra layer of privacy and security rather than installing the application. Disconnect microphones and cameras when possible and I know that with laptops and mobile devices that's not always possible and so at least try to for example cover cameras by using camera covers and just have designated areas in your house that are free from electronics such as bathrooms and bedrooms and this includes stuff like smart televisions because those have microphones. I'd also recommend removing any sort of voice activated anything, whether it has to do with home automation, a Google device, an Amazon Alexa, anything voice activated that's always listening is a huge privacy concern and I would remove it. I strongly recommend that you encrypt everything on all of your devices and it's not that difficult to do. For example, if I come here to the start button, type in control panel and open it up, go to system and security. Right here, there's the device encryption option. You just click on that. It will give you an option to enable BitLocker or if you're on a Mac just again go to the system settings search for the privacy and security section or search for file vault which is the name of the built-in free device encryption and you can just turn it on and it does its thing. Signal is also free and easy quick to set up. You can use it to encrypt your text messages and phone calls and it's available for Android, iPhone, Windows, Mac, and Linux. To encrypt your emails you can use ProtonMail which has a free tier or alternatively you could use Tuda which also has a free tier. Don't use public Wi-Fi, even with the VPN, things can go wrong. And when you're out and about with mobile devices, turn off the Wi-Fi setting. Also turn off Bluetooth when you're in public as well. Stop giving out personal information. And this overlaps with the social media section and may even sound obvious, but a lot of people just do it. Every time they sign up for something, they give out their name, their phone number, their email address. Stop giving that information out as much as possible. Use a shortened version of your name or your initials and try using alias 
aliasing when possible. For example, you can set up a Google Voice number to give out alternatively when you must give a phone number, but a better option might be MySudo, which can also help you out with email aliasing as well. Simple login is another good one to look at. And when making online purchases, privacy.com lets you alias cards rather than using your actual credit card. And don't forget, cash is an option. Try to pay cash when available, but just give less personal information out. Review all the privacy and security settings for all the devices and services and applications you use. For example, if you go into the system settings of Windows, you can find a privacy and security section. Review all those. Turn up the privacy as much as possible, the security as well. Do that for all the services, all the applications that you use. Freeze your credit. It's free and simple to set up a login account with all the major credit bureaus and freezing your credit is free. Turn off your devices when you're not using them, especially your mobile devices. Don't walk around with those just turned on all the time. That's a privacy nightmare. Also be mindful of backups. In general, backups are good for when you lose data or if somehow ransomware happens. But in some cases, there might be things getting backed up that you're not aware of and you might think that you've deleted or fully erased something where in fact a backup can be exploited to recover that private item. So just make sure that you're reviewing, for example, your iCloud settings and other backup settings on all your devices. Don't access anything personal on a device you do not own or on a network that you do not manage. This could be anything from social media to a banking account, any personal anything. Do not do it if you do not own that device and don't do it on networks that you don't personally manage. Keep everything up to date, including your BIOS, firmware on all hardware, operating system, all software needs to be up to date. Do not use out of date software ever. Make sure to always use strong passwords, which consist of 25 plus characters, a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and make sure you're using a good password manager. Make sure that you secure all your devices and keep these practices on all devices. If you're only doing this on one of your devices, the others could be exploited. Education, always be willing to learn. I assume if you're watching this video, you're doing it for maybe entertainment, but also educational purposes. This stuff moves fast. There's always new threats. Learning stuff such as why it's bad to click on search result ads or best practices for being safe with emails or why it can be very bad for privacy and security to install extensions, how scummy the VPN industry can be, stuff like that. Just always keep learning, keep pushing yourself, maybe dedicate five, 10 minutes a day to staying up to date. And the last thing, which really is simple, cast a vote for those who value and prioritize legislation around privacy and security for citizens and individual users. This stuff is eroding very quickly. We see privacy and security get worse every day. There's data breaches constantly, data collection everywhere. Voting is very important. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.